King's Indian Defense, Orthodox, Exchange Variation, 8.QXD8RXD89.BG5. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed Black in that one. Black had a good opening, but White was on another level. That was a well fought middle game that Black got the better of. White's accurate end game play outshined Black. Opening with the Queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. The king's Indian defense prepares to develop the bishop to g7, allowing white to build up a strong center which black will later try to undermine. And c3 prepares the e2 e4 pawn push and helps control the d5 square. Bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. e4 takes full control of the center. d6 controls the e5 square and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Nf3 supports the d4 pawn and puts pressure on the e5 square. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. b2 develops the light squared bishop and prepares to castle king side. e5 takes space in the center and immediately attacks the d4 pawn. dx e5 opens up the center and captures the e5 pawn, likely entering a queenless middle game. dx e5 recaptures the e5 pawn and offers an exchange of queens. qxd8 exchanges queens and forces rxd8 from black. Rxd8 recaptures the queen and takes control of the d file. Bg5 develops the bishop and pins the knight on f6. It is the last book move. This misses an opportunity to defend a pawn that was under attack. It is an inaccuracy. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. It is excellent. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is excellent. That's fine. It is good. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. This fights against the opposing rook for the open file. It is good. This misses an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is a miss. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is a miss. This kicks an opposing knight. It is best. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. This stops the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is best. Takes back. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. Takes back. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This exposes an attack, threatening a rook. It is best. This misses a great but hard to find move. There was only one good move there. This misses an opportunity to double rooks on a single file. It is a mistake. That rook was free for the taking. It is best. This removes a bishop that was threatening to win material. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Takes back. This is the start of the end game and black is equal. It is best. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is best. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This misses a better way to move a piece to safety. This permits the opponent to take an open file with a rook. It is an inaccuracy. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This immobilizes the opponent's knight by pinning it to the king. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This activates the king in the end game by getting it off of the back rank. It is best. 
This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This is the way to win a pawn. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. That pawn was free for the taking. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is best. This evades the check from the rook. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. It is good. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the 7th rank. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This stops the opponent from being able to activate a rook by getting it to the 7th rank. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. An active king is critical in the end game and getting it off of the back rank is the first step. It is excellent. A very strong play. It is excellent. That's fine. It is good. This is the strongest option. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. Right on target. It is best. Very precise. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. This is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is good. Right on target. It is best. Very precise. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This evades the check from the rook. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This steps away from the checking rook. It is best. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This permits the opponent to use a rook to counter a passed pawn. It is a miss. This misses an opportunity to use a rook to counter a passed pawn. It is a miss. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. That was a free pawn. This threatens to use a rook to counter a passed pawn. It is excellent. This pushes a passed pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Placing a rook behind an opponent's passed pawn can inhibit the pawn's ability to promote. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is excellent. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is good. This pushes a passed pawn. It is excellent. This prevents the opponent from being able to use a rook to support a passed pawn. It is best. Takes back. It is best. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is excellent. This is the strongest option. It is best. This pushes a passed pawn. This threatens to promote a pawn to a queen. It is good. This is the only good move. This prevents the opponent from being able to promote a pawn to a queen. It is a great move. Right on target. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. White was better off, but now their position is winning. It is an inaccuracy. A very strong play. It is excellent. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a mistake. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This steps away from the checking rook. It is excellent. 
that pawn was free for the taking. It is best. This pushes a passed pawn. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is excellent. This puts the rook behind an opposing passed pawn, which helps counter the pawn's push to promotion. It is best. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was a well-fought middle game that black got the better of. White's accurate end game play outshined black. 